Great passers understand when to use the different types of passes that exist in the game of basketball. The most commonly used passes are the chest pass, the push pass, the bounce pass, and the overhead pass. Let's take a look at each one. When using the chest pass, we're taking the basketball from our chest area using two hands and passing it to our teammate's chest area. We'll use this often on offense when we're not closely guarded. The push pass is going to be used most often when we're closely guarded. It's similar to the chest pass, except we're getting one hand behind the basketball, taking a step, separating ourselves from the defense, and pushing the ball to our teammate towards their chest area or shooting pocket. As you can see, we have to create some space. We'll use the left hand on the outside, the right hand going this way, to make sure that that ball doesn't get deflected. On offense, we're gonna use the bounce pass when the on-the-ball defender has their hands high and we still need to connect the pass. This is often gonna happen when we are entering the ball into the post area. The defender's hands are high, we still need to connect it, bounce pass occurs. In this case, we're gonna send this defender down for a double team with his hands high. Player needs to send out the basketball with the bounce pass as well. When we need to reverse the basketball from one side of the floor to the other, we're gonna use an overhead pass or a skip pass to do so. When the offensive player has the basketball, realizes that a teammate is open, but can't use the bounce pass, can't use the chest pass, can't use the push pass, the overhead pass is the most effective way of reversing the basketball. As you watch basketball games on TV, try to identify the various types of passes and when they're most often used. That knowledge will make you a more comfortable and effective basketball player.